Welcome to Rayvon's Technical Tips. Today we'll be showing you how to use a TGM Digital Tire Deflator. When you buy a TGM Digital Tire Deflator kit, what you get in is a heavy duty carry case, the deflator unit itself, an auxiliary core removing tool, and four extra valve posts in case you lose something in the other. Let's have a look at the parts and functions of the deflator body itself. So this is the deflator and this is the valve core chuck. To switch on the deflator, you can just press a button and it lights up with backlighting and you can see it clearly in night. It has a battery status bar at the side which tells you if the battery is low. And in case you're not familiar with pre uh, pressure units, you can just change using the function button. It will show you different units of pressure, whichever you're comfortable with, you can use. The chuck has different parts. This is the nozzle with the mid connector and the steel rod and slide valve. What you do is you use the mid connector and thread on the nozzle to your tire valve then you remove the valve course safely by using the valve rod. And to remove the tire pressure, you just slide the slide valve back out. And to check how much pressure is there in the tire in real time, you just slide back in uh, the slide valve and you can see the pressure real time in the digital deflator gorge itself. We'll demonstrate how this works on a tire and it'll be easy for you to understand. Step one is to screw in the nozzle to a tire valve. So we thread the nozzle to the tire valve. Make sure you don't over tighten it, just a snug fit is more than enough. So now it's snug now. Then you move the slide valve to close position. This will be open. You move it to close position. And then this brass knob, we will move towards inside the tire valve. And you will notice that if you try to move it, there will be a position where it comes and locks in. And then you can't move it anymore. This is the correct position and the valve core is engaged with the valve tool. Now you turn it counterclockwise and maybe 10 or so turns will be more than enough and you'll feel the valve core turning out. You'll feel a little bit of resistance coming on the tool but make sure to thread the valve core completely out otherwise what happens is when you try to release air you'll notice the air is coming out uh, very slow like this. So this is the step where most people get it wrong and they feel that deflator is a bit slow. So to re-engage it just press the tool lightly back inside engage the valve core with the valve core removing tool and thread it completely back out. You'll feel it coming back out maybe in 10 or so turns. Once it's fully out, you can feel the air pressure coming out uh, quite fast and loud. Once the valve core is completely out, you can see the pressure on the tool. Now to remove air, you need to push back the slide valve. And once you reach your desired pressure, you just push it back in and you can see the pressure dropping in the gauge itself. Once you have reached your desired pressure, to put the tool back, you just need to push on this rod, engage the valve core and turn it clockwise uh, till you feel the threads are completed. Make sure you don't over tighten it, just again, a snug fit is more than enough. Once it's snug, you pull this rod back in and you back out the mid connector. Once the mid connector is completely back out, you are safe to drive away. Oh.